I just got another big brown box in today. Oh, he's a big boy. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. Oh, Michael, please. There he is. Please. There he is. Come on. All right, well, let's see what we got in here today. Oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. Oh boy. We got a lot of parts. It looks like we got a lot of MJK performance goodies now before i go ahead and start unboxing this make sure if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel do me a big favor click that subscribe button right now this way you can stay up to date with all of my future content with the formalities out of the way go ahead and roll the intro all right well let's see how many boxes we have one two Three, four, five, six. Six boxes in total. Look at all these MJK Performance goodies. Now, if you have not heard of MJK Performance before, you need to Google them. Dale and I, the owner of MJK Performance, had about a two and a half hour to three hour conversation. It is crazy. He impressed me I, I can't even put it into words how much he impressed me we went over his brand his business model like what he thinks in terms of quality and innovation it is crazy the thoughtfulness and detail that goes into every single one of his products and what they mean to him it's much more than the cost I mean it's crazy but how married he is to the products that he's actually putting out and creating being a business owner myself and then speaking to somebody like him who strives for nothing but excellence and perfection in his parts and engineering, it's just mind blowing. And I'll tell you this, in a private conversation that we had, he told me straight up that it's more than just money to him. In fact, money is not even the biggest contributing factor. He pays his employees top dollar wages. He does everything at a very, very high level. I mean, this guy operates at a very, very high level. But to him, it's much more than just the money that it's also what the products represent and the quality of them and the craftsmanship of them. And to me, I was sold. I was like, man, I gotta have everything that you offer or at least a lot of it until I break my bank account, of course. Because the way that my bank account is set up, the thing is, I got a check in the savings, but all my money is in the savings. I don't think my card is gonna go through unless you got jeans on, cause you gotta wipe it off. Anyways, Dale, if you're watching this, I just wanna say thank you so much for a great conversation. I picked up a lot from it. I appreciate the good energy and good vibes that you put out there. And I'm super stoked to get these parts on my bike. All right, well, let's get all these off and go ahead and start unboxing them one by one. Um, assuming these are bushings for something. Oh, it's a plate to something. Maybe some new handlebar risers. A control kit. Nice, very nice. Let's see. What do we got here? It's a brake control kit. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Next box. Oh, foot pegs. I'm so excited, I don't even know if I should show them to you. Of course, I'm going to show you. Oh, carbon fiber risers. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bee's knees. The banana in my jamma, put in paint, where it ain't. All right, on to the next box. All right, on to the next box. You know what this is? You know what this is? This is a Max Lean floorboard for maximum lean. Another Max Lean floorboard. All right, now for the last box. It's a super stock axle adjuster kit with spools. All right, enough of the playing around. Time to get this stuff unpackaged and onto the bike. All right, so I got everything here laid out from MJK Performance. The only thing I'm missing that's not on the table right now is the handlebars, which will be on the table soon. But everything else is already laid out, so I'm gonna go ahead and start unpackaging things 
putting them on, taking others off. We're gonna get everything weighed up, so don't worry. We're gonna track the weight on everything. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get everything onto the bike. Now, one thing I do wanna note, and it's very, very important because I don't want you guys to take this video the wrong way. There's a lot of really, really nice components that I'm about to take off my bike from some amazing brands. So I don't want you to think that because I'm taking these parts off my bike, they're not as great or they're not great parts. In general, all the brands that I work with, all the brands that I've put parts on my bike, I put them on because I pay for them, because I love them, and because I think that they're great products. So anything that's coming off my bike today is still an amazing part. I still highly recommend purchasing them. There's not a single part that's gonna come off of my bike today that I'm gonna be like, eh, I don't know about this one. They're all amazing products, they're all amazing brands, and I'd still recommend that you still work with any of these brands that I'm about to take off. Now that I said that, let's go ahead and jump back into this. All right, so first up is the brake control arm and pedal from Flow Motorsports, and we are at one pound, three ounces. So this is a very lightweight piece. Then we have the one from MJK Performance, which is 1.4 ounces, so it looks like the Flow Motorsports brake arm lever is one ounce lighter than the one from MJK Performance. I would say the biggest reason why, if you wanted to go with the one from MJK Performance, would be, well obviously if you like the looks of this one, um, but also this has eight different pedal locations to adjust to your style. And then if you were interested in the one from Flow Motorsports, the reason why you would go with this one is once again, for the look of the item itself, you like the look of the item, but then uh, two, it is an ounce lighter than the MJK Performance one. Uh, also has adjustability, by the way, I do wanna note in case you are not watching my old videos of when I installed this, this one does also have different positions of adjustability. This one from MJK Performance just to, just looks like it has a few more than the one from Flow Motorsports. Also, I really, really like the look of CNC pieces from Billet Aluminum. I mean, this just looks like a really, really insanely high quality piece. I mean, this is like Lamborghini stuff right here. I mean, this is nice. Or Ferrari, or Porsche, whatever you're into, Bugatti. Um, well, actually, if we're using those references, in our industry, this is more like the Pagani of <laughs> performance parts. So very, very, very high end. All right, well, enough of the talk. Let's go ahead and get on the scale, the floorboards from Flow Motorsports and the rear pegs, as well as the ones from MJK Performance and compare the two. All right, now to weigh up the floorboards from Flow Motorsports and the rear pegs and see what the total weight on all of this is. So the total combined weight is four pounds, six ounces for the Flow Motorsports floorboards and the rear passenger uh, foot pegs or mini floorboards, if you will. So super light setup. Something I just noticed before I weigh these in is there's an angle on the rear portion of these floorboards, which is really nice. I'm assuming it's for the whole max lean thing. So this thing is really, really nice quality. It's crazy to even put into words how good of quality these pieces are. They're really nice. And obviously you can see there's adjustability in these pieces as well, in and out. Um, yeah. It's, it's a nice piece. So four pounds and 13 ounces is the total combined weight of all of the MJK Performance floorboards and rear passenger pegs. Granted, you can use these on any, it doesn't have to be in the rear. You could use them in the, you know, on other bikes too in the front, as long as they have the fitting that goes here. So if you didn't catch it, that means that the Flow Motor Sports uh, setup here is about seven ounces lighter than that of the MJK Performance stuff. I would say the biggest benefit though that you're gonna get with the MJK Performance is one, you're gonna be able to lean your bike more and you have a lot more adjustability. Now, looks wise, I always, it's once again, it's a, it's a preference thing, whether you like the looks more of this or looks more of this, it's really up to you. All right, so first we're gonna weigh up the Flow Motorsports levers and the factory arm along with the Trask carbon fiber shift linkage 
and everything comes out to one pounds, 10 ounces. Now, in all fairness, this shift linkage is super, super, super light. Uh, you can see from my previous videos when I installed this, the Trask shift lever, I mean, it's insanely light. So um, this is not a, not a super, super fair comparison because we're utilizing this Trask shift linkage in the comparison. So not really a fair comparison here, but it'll do for this scenario. Now we'll go ahead and weigh up the set from MJK Performance. So one pound, four ounces. So in this scenario, I actually think we just lost weight, I believe. Um, a few ounces is what I think we lost in this scenario. But once again, I wasn't really doing this for weight loss. In this case scenario, weight savings is what I should say. I was doing this more for the kind of components and adjustability that I'm gonna be able to have um, in my ride now by adding these parts to my bike. Especially in the case of the floorboards, it gives me more lean angle when turning the bike. Um, and then these parts give me a lot more adjustability to suit my specific needs. All right, so just to give you an update, I got the floorboards installed, the passenger uh, foot pegs installed or passenger boards installed. I got the controls installed, the shift linkage, this stuff, it's crazy. Like the engagement on this stuff, it is so, I mean, it, it's crazy how clean all of these parts look. I've already adjusted it to where it's at my liking, my preferred area. Um, all the clearance is perfect. I made sure, you know, I did that. And then same thing on this side, floorboards are installed. I adjusted the brake lever um, position. I installed the passenger peg in as well. So everything is in. So far, it's really good. I went with, in terms of the position, because you could adjust these um, to be more out or more in. I went with more in. Um, it's just what was comfortable for me. I'm not sure if there's any, you know, super benefit to that. Maybe it is, maybe I get more, <laughs> more lean angle, but for me, it was just what was more comfortable. I felt like I have more control of the bike with my legs closer in to the bike versus more out or extended from the bike. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and install the axle adjuster with the spools. We're gonna get that on to the bike. So we'll take all the bags off, the old axle off and all that stuff off. Um, I'm gonna weigh this up first of what I need in the kit. And then of course, I'll weigh up what's coming off of the bike. Um, this I'm super excited about because this is gonna make my life, especially those spools, will make my life a lot easier when I'm working on the bike. All right, well I got the rear axle from MJK installed, also with the spools and everything. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I use my bike stand to now lift up my street glide. Just to give you a quick shot though before I do that, of the other side so you can see what the setup looks like on this side of the bike but overall it came out super clean so i'm going to go ahead and lower the bike off the bike stand um, or i should say the bike jack and then i'll go ahead and put it on the bike stand so you guys can see what it looks like so as you can see this is what it looks like now on the stand that looks cool that looks so freaking cool i love it look at this thing that looks wicked let me show you guys from this angle. Man, does that look good. And now it allows me to service the bike super easy from under. Any changes I need to do, I can do them from under the bike now without having to put a jack under there. So this is pretty cool, especially when I start taking the bike to the track, it's gonna be really nice to have this feature. All right, and now to weigh up the factory axle. So two pounds, 11 ounces. So for all the extra features that we added onto the bike, it costed us roughly, what, eight ounces? Um, but overall, for what I was looking to do, and now I'll have an, a perfectly aligned rear, um, I won't have to go through a whole mess with these pieces anymore and not getting a perfect alignment. And I'll have the rear spools to be able to lift my bike adding those few ounces onto the bike was well worth it. Now the bike is just super easy to align. So really happy with it because this, having to constantly adjust this when you have a chain drive, this becomes a pain. So overall, happy with the upgrade, even if it did cost me adding on eight ounces or so. Lastly, we're now gonna be removing the Flymoto bars, the Krauss risers, and the Krauss pullback plate. 
along with the uh, Kraus bigger um, clamps for these bigger Flymoto bars. So we'll go ahead and get these pieces off and then all weighed up. And then of course, we're gonna weigh that up in comparison to the MJK performance ones. Now I'm gonna weigh these up really quick, but I just wanna show you the quality on this stuff. Um, this is the one from MJK, as you see here, MJK performance. These have the carbon fiber inlays. By the way, these things are crazy, crazy light. I can't imagine how much lighter these are gonna be um, than the setup that's currently on the bike. And then you have the pullback plate, which is also super, super light. Um, the bushings. Um, this is a very, very light setup. And I mean, the machining on this is just beautiful. These pieces. I mean, it's literally like artwork. They're so, so nice. All right, so first let's weigh up the pullback plate. So we have one pound on the pullback plate, plus the bushings. We are at one pound, two ounces. And then on the risers, we are at two pounds, nine ounces. So the total setup here is going to weigh in at three pounds and 12 ounces. So pretty light setup here. So far I got the fairing off and I got the wires pulled out. So now just to start popping this stuff off. All right, now to weigh up the Krauss risers and T-Rex plate. We are at four pounds, 12 ounces, which means that the Krauss setup is a pound heavier than the MJK performance setup that you see over here. I do wanna say though, that the Krauss setup, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful setup. This is so nice. Like it is still a super, super high quality, top grade setup. I mean, I'm, I was very happy with this. I mean, I'd still be happy with it if I wasn't putting on the MJK performance stuff. I'd still be happy with the setup. It is still so beautiful. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. This way we can get the um, risers and pullback plate onto the bike. And for those of you who are interested in seeing the two side by side, this is the Krauss. This is the MJK performance. Both are just beautiful products. They're both very nice. Um, obviously, they're just at two different price points, so it's just whatever suits your style and preference. Um, both are extremely high quality parts here, but yeah, a little side by side, a little bit of top down there, a little bit of top down, a little bit of top down. I'm loving this carbon fiber though, looks sick. Anyways, let's get them on the bike. All right, well, it is done, bars are installed. I adjusted them to my height. They came out really nice, the carbon fiber, just looks sick next to the Hoffman Designs carbon fiber dash. I mean, they just match and flow so well together. Also, one thing I noticed that's a big benefit of having the MJK Performance is the routing system on this thing. It is super clean. They route through the bars, down, all the way down through the riser and then out. So it gives it a really, really super clean look. I'm happy too now that I can put my rock form in the center of the, the bars, it just gives it that super clean look. All in all though, really happy with the way that all the MJK performance parts came out. Just everything looks so nice. Everything is adjusted perfectly to me now. So it's so much more comfortable when sitting on the bike. The flow of the parts, it just looks so, so nice. The way that all the parts just mesh together, now it just looks really nice, it's really clean. And of course, I'm really happy with it. By the way, let me know in the comment section down below if these are the kind of videos that you like. Obviously, I'm not doing a whole bunch of camera work while I'm doing the install. Let me know if that's what you prefer or if you prefer when I do a lot more camera work on the install. I'd greatly appreciate the feedback because obviously it helps me to create content that you guys prefer. Now, we did have some weight savings in this video, but for me, it wasn't about that. For me, it was more about the ergonomics of all of these parts and how they flow um, when I'm on the bike. And so for me, that's really why I made the switch to what I did because this made the bike more ergonomically friendly. Er ergonomic, ergonomic, er ergonomic, ergonomically friendly for me. <laughs> that's a tricky one. But anyways, 
Um, it made the bike more comfortable for me. And so that's one of the big reasons why I did it. And obviously they look just killer. Well, hopefully you guys are going to Daytona Bike Week this weekend. I'm gonna be there. My bike is gonna be at a few different booths, but the first booth that you can check my bike out at is going to be the Trask Performance booth. So you can see me there, you can catch me there if you're interested. Um, you could come by, say hi, say what's up, hang out for a little bit, check out my bike if you're interested, of course. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and close out here. Remember, make sure you're putting good energy out there into the world and you're paying it forward. I'll check y'all out later. Bye now.